Imagine a gate, a gate of righteousness. Who can pass through it? Psalms 118 tells us, this gate of the Lord into which the righteous shall enter. But who are these righteous? How do they earn the key to this gate? In Ezekiel 18, we find a detailed description. A righteous man is one who does what is just and right, who doesn't defile his neighbor's wife or approach a woman in her time of menstrual impurity, doesn't oppress anyone, restores to the debtor his pledge, commits no robbery, gives his bread to the hungry and covers the naked with a garment, does not lend at interest or take any profit, withholds his hand from injustice, executes true justice between man and man, walks in the statutes of the Lord and keeps the rules by acting faithfully. This man, Ezekiel declares, is righteous, he shall surely live. Yet in the Gospel of Luke, Jesus presents a different perspective. A certain ruler asks him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus replies, Why do you call me good? No one is good except God alone. Then he tells him that to receive the kingdom of God, one must be like a child. But what does it mean to be like a child in the context of righteousness and purity? Children are often seen as pure, innocent, and untainted by the world. They are teachable, humble, and willing to trust. This, it seems, is the kind of purity and righteousness that Jesus values. Not a moral checklist, but a heart that is open, humble, and trusting. The book of Psalms also speaks of purity, asking, how can a young person stay on the path of purity? The answer given is simple and profound, by living according to your word. In other words, by aligning one's life with the teachings and wisdom found in the scriptures. And how will we recognize those who are truly righteous and pure? Matthew chapter 7 gives us a clue. By their fruit you will recognize them. Just as grapes don't grow from thorn bushes or figs from thistles, a righteous and pure heart will produce good fruit. So in summary, the scriptures present a multifaceted view of righteousness and purity. It involves living justly and kindly, having a childlike heart, aligning one's life with God's word, and bearing good fruit. These are the keys that open the gate of righteousness, the gate that leads to the kingdom of God.